everybody on YouTube this is rude boy and today I have a little treat for everybody out there um as you guys may know last week before I went to Phoenix Arizona I picked up the Intel Core i7 extreme processor 980x six core six cores and 12 working threads um now before I left I was able to overclock the processor very high I was not able to upload a you know a benchmarking video or you know a final result video due to the fact that I was going to vacation. Um, I came back from Phoenix, Arizona two days ago. I was really tired so I was not able to even upload another video for you guys. So today I I'm just gonna do a quick you know, update on the processor for you guys and all my benchmarking results. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I, I would like to tell you guys but it's way too much to explain in a video. So I'm gonna link you guys to a topic from overclock.net that I made like a week ago when I got the processor so you guys could read it and review it if you like but as of now I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overlook at my overclock and a quick sign bench um, CPU test All right, so first of all let me just show you guys my overclock okay right now I was able to get my Core i7 980X Intel Core i7 Extreme to to 4.4 gigahertz at 1.416 voltages and I got the RAM at 1866 which is my rated speed for the RAM so I'm very happy about that uh, these are the idle temperatures it stays in the 30s to low 20s I mean this processor runs really cool compared to my 920 as you see right there 4.4 gigahertz now I'm just gonna do a quick sign bench um, you know benchmark for you guys right, see how quick that open up huh. okay this is sign bench for you right now one thing I love about this processor like I said before it runs really cool compared to my i7 920 it also it's also very fast I mean I've converted HD videos really quick on this thing and overall my system is much more faster compared to having a 920 and no joke about this usually when I upgrade a processor I never feel a difference in the system but with this processor I actually do so I'm very glad about this upgrade and as you can tell this thing renders really quick yeah so okay now here's my results 11.11 .11. now these are all the same results from 4.4 gigahertz the highest I've got is 11.22 okay now I'm gonna show you guys my my low temps while rendering as you can see my low temps is 70 C to the low 50s to the low 60s now while I get while I game in it hits the mid 50s to the high 50s at most I've never seen it hit 60 degrees while gaming so I mean anyone out there looking to get the i7 6 core processor I definitely suggest picking one up it's definitely a great buy if you have the money also if you're gonna buy one I'm just gonna show you guys the batch number which one to pick up if you can pick one up if you could get one with the FPO batch it's a really good overclocker from what I've heard everybody in EVGA forums and overclock.net this batch right here it overclocks really good now okay as for just give me one second now a lot of people might be asking what's my next upgrade um, my next upgrade for my computer is gonna be most likely a EVGA GTX 480 coming up in the next two weeks I also have a GTX 295 for sale with a backplate so if anyone's interested in it if you live in the US, you know, message me with an offer. I could I've got an offer for 350 so far. If anyone can beat that, you know, just message me. I do PayPal only. So, you know, look out for a video on the EVGA GTX 480 soon. I hope you guys enjoy. Sub, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the topic in the subscription um to overclock.net on my benchmark in progress and all that stuff from the i7 980X processor.